Hey, it's Barb, and I want to talk to you today about giving your horse time to feel and respond to your cues so that you focus on the process and not so much on the outcome. And just a little story. When I grew up, our family had a lot of horses. Like, I mean, a lot of horses. Anywhere from three to 400 head of horses. And the kids, it was our job to improve our string and then either sell them at our place or take them to horse shows and, not, and come home with an empty trailer. That was the business model of our family. And so our dad was this really, really good horseman and he could get on horses and ride them like just a few minutes and have them doing all kinds of stuff like turning around, stopping. He was just a really a master horseman. And he was also the teacher of his five children. And you know how that goes sometimes when your uh, spouse or your parents or your teachers, it's not always easy. Well, one of the things he always told me, because he studied Monty Foreman, that was the kind of the guy at the time, that when a horse is loping on their lead, <coughs> excuse me, let's say you're going to the left and you're on the left lead, that um, you would stop the horse, pull back on the reins when that lead foot would hit the ground, the, the in, you know, the lead foot. And so, I'd try as I might, but I always got it wrong. And my, I would pull, I would like try and pay attention and pull, and my horse would smack on their front end. And it wasn't until I was like in my late 20s maybe or early 30s, and a friend said, you don't need to do that. Just when you get ready to stop, just drop your seat in the saddle exhale, let your horse feel your seat, and then if they don't stop, then just pick up your hand and just kind of help them. You know, like let go of that trying to like get the correct foot because number one, it's been 30 years and it's not working for you. <laughs> so um, anyway, I did and it was like magic. And there are so many things that we do with our horses, that um, we think about, you know, I want to stop, boom, or I want to turn, boom. But it's really the sequencing of cues and the, and the use of cues and giving them time to feel it and then supporting them, most often with our hands if we need to, and our seat is one of the most important ones of that. So I just wanted to share that with you and I'll just show you what I'm talking about. I'm just going to do a little thing and you probably may or maybe you have seen Nick do this before but I've been doing it with him so long that he's so used to it but um, I've just really learned to use my seat and give him time and really not just him but for all the horses. So here we go. Nick you've got an itch here today buddy. Come on. Okay, so you can do, you can use your seat really, of course, at any gate. So I'm just gonna ask Nick, I'm just gonna ask him for a little trot. I'm gonna try and ride him <coughs> mainly with my eyes and my seat. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him for a lope. This is, you know, for demonstration purposes. But I'm gonna come around here and I'm gonna use my seat and I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna go. <coughs> Excuse the cough. Um, and of course it's taken, it took initially a while for him to feel that, but if you don't allow your horse to have time to feel your cue, no matter what it is, a leg, your seat, your hands, before you apply additional pressure, they'll never have the confidence 
or, or I'll, they'll never have the response and the ease of it. So that's what I have for you today. And uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Have a great week.